Best greetings from Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Fursu. I'm a research entomologist of National Ukrainian Academy of Sciences, Institute of Zoology, and I'm working in Kiev, the capital of Ukraine, and today, second day of February. February is just in developing, but it's not snow outside. But here, in my room, I'm very pleased to tell you the story about parasitic wasps. Actually, I had this uh, wonderful poster printed in Canada, and I will tell you some stories about these very interesting parasitic wasps, which are just displayed on this very nice poster from different groups of a super family Calcidoidea or Calcid wasps, where the majority were parasitic, some of them phytophagos, and I will tell you step by step from family to family about them. And first of all, I would like to tell you a story about the smallest insects. The smallest and the smallest, they are egg parasitoids. So that's why I keep here this my assistant, my tiny dog, because I will tell not about tiny dogs, tiny cats, but about tiny calcid wasps, which were actually flying everywhere around in the nature like plankton like tiny aquatic plankton, like tiny air plankton, and they are really invisible. But nevertheless, for entomologists, for hymenopterists, they are very much valuable, because they are not only so tiny, but they can be considered as a new species, which are living everywhere around, from Costa Rica, Tobago, Brazil, South America, Australia, Mexico, United States, to, to all countries of Europe and Asia, and okay, Africa, Australia, Asia, all continents, all around, they have different groups of these calcid wasps, and especially this group, which I will be telling about. And today I will tell you a story about fairy flies, about the family Mimaridae, the very famous Br uh, English entomologist. Enoch, in 1895, observed very tiny fairy fly, very tiny parasitic fly from a genus Alaptus, described by Westwood, and, and parasi they are parasitizing eggs of a <coughs> Psocids, Psocus facatus, uh, from an order Psocoptera, and gave an English name, fairy flies. Presumably because of their very small size, delicate wings, so name fairy flies like a mythical fairies, very tiny, and really they are very small, from 0.2 millimeters up to 1 millimeter, just only 1 millimeter, the biggest of them. And of course, I will use some of the books, the literature you can see here, so I'm very pleased to present it. So this is a book, a Hymenoptera edited by Jan Gold and Barry Bolton. This is a book, a review for the genera of a new world, My Maridae, by Carl Yoshimoto. And the handbook of the families of the Arctic Halcidoidae Hymenoptera by Eric Rissel and Michael Shaw. Well, what's about My Maridae? How we can collect them? That's why I'm keeping here this tiny yellow pen traps or murky traps. I already had some stories about murky traps. So many cuts it was and especially my Maridi can be easily collected inside these murky traps, which can be easily displayed in many places on the ground or even on a tree or on the stone, uh, somewhere in, in between stones and river. So you need to fill all these yellow traps with water, water with salt and shampoo or detergent and put it just on a ground or just on a stone for one, from one day till three days. Salt is just preservative to keep here salted insects, by the way. And after collecting insects inside water, they will come here like to flower, fell down and will be died inside, but you can collect them with this tiny aquarium net, so fill water with insects inside, wash it carefully, 
in water and then put it inside jars with ethanol, 96% ethanol, and keep it in a safe place. So all insects will be stored here in 96% alcohol, like in these jars. Yeah. This is a perfect material for scientific study. Material can be dried as well, so if you can convert can use conventional sweeping net, insects can be dried and collected and saved in small plastic tubes or glass tubes, that's fine. But if you are collecting the insects with this mercury trip, you can collect huge material during the whole summer season and also spring season, autumn season as well, or anyway, it just depends on the geographical area where you're living on. And if it's warm, insects will be falling down they will be dying here inside, then collected inside in ethanol. Can be sorted, selected, and small, smallest of them, my marites, I will tell you today, can be studied. Smallest, also there are some trichogrammatide. Trichogrammatide, this is a pro my uh, appropriate group which I'm studying as well. But what's about my marides? Well, presented all this in these murky traps. So how, how to select them, how to recognize them, for well, that I can keep in here, this book of Yoshimoto. And this are my some in, in pictures, I will tell you a little bit more about them. And first of all, when you are sorting groups, you can recognize them because of the very narrow wings. Very narrow wings, and very narrow and long antenna. Antenna is long and with a clava which is solid or three segmented. And also all these tiny antenna, they just from eight till the 13 segments. So they're long. Some other groups of calcidos we have a very short antenna. So it can be selected but to another tubes. This you can select in one tube trick of Ramatidu with a short antenna with a special venation you can search for me to another tubes. What's about the structure of body? Yes, as I said here. Antenna, antenna is long, if you can recognize here. And all antenna, this is from 8 to 30 segments. Solid antenna or three segmented antenna, scapus pedicellus and funiculum, funiculum from six segments and more. Or if this is a male, male has a very low filamentous, little filamentous antenna without clover. Filamentous. Through ramatis, we have a very short antenna like that. But my marid very long till like the, more, even more than length of a body. What's about here? We have a head, torx, and a guster. And guster, between guster and torx, there's sometimes petiolus. Uh, or no petiolus. So some groups can be sometimes different scientists uh, they separated some subfamilies of a mimaride because of a petiolus. So they separated gonatocerine with the five segments of a tarsi uh, and mimarine with four segments of tarsi. What about gaster? This is a mimarine with a petiolate gaster. So with petiolus, with petiolus and alaptine, alaptine tried with the sessile gaster. So sometimes gaster is attached to the thorax or mesosoma. Metasoma is attached to mesosoma without petiolus. But usually like this one, like tiny sessile petiolus, no sessile petiolus, but there is a very visible petiolus. Sessile body. Well, what's, what else? What else? Also, this is a special feature of a head. This is a position of a torally, the place of attachment of scapus or antennae. So torally is just a <coughs> located far away from each other. And this is distinctly feature which is separated them from other groups of calcid wasps. And who are 
he replies, oh my Maridi, actually they are egg parasitoids, they are exclusively egg parasitoids of a different groups of insects. And first of all, some of them were recognized as egg parasitoids of a coccoidea, but probably this is a mistake. But <coughs> some separate groups have been found as egg parasitoids of dragonflies or donata, then uh, some crickets or orthoptera, some psocoptera, some of hemiptera, some bugs, some homoptera of cicadelids of Archenorincha, cicadelids. Some also there is a record about her, uh, the egg parasitoids of a tisanoptera of the ribs then egg parasitoids of a lepidoptera and beetles or coleoptera. What I can say about coleoptera, for example, such groups as a chrysomelide, a very common host for mymaridae, or cuculanidae or weevils, very commonly, and the da and the predaceous diving beetles or daticidae. Also, this is very special host. And actually, the parasitoid of Dytocida agavis is a genus Chirophractus, the species Chirophractus cinctus. They can even fly underwater, yes, and um, not mistaken. Yes, they are flying underwater because they have narrow wings, and these they can use these wings for fly, for swimming under the water. So we can see now wings. Yes, because they are flapping by winds under the water. They are searching for eggs of predaceous diving beetle, Dytocida, under the water somewhere where it should be inserted in the tissue for aquatic plants or semi-aquatic plants. And to search, in, search for them, they are moving under the water, inside the water. So, and they are flapping by winds. And if you put Chirophractus cinctus, a live living species, will they easily fly inside water. So sometimes possible to collect them even in a murky trap, but easiest way or best way to collect them through the emergence from eggs of a Dytocida. For that, it's, it is special attention to search for Dytocida eggs in plants, but this is a separate subject. What's about wings? Wings are very special. Here on this poster, there are there is only one representative of genus Mymar, Mymorigale, so very narrow, petiolate wing with very long hairs, so wings like a, with hairs. Hairs can be used probably for fly, for flying in the air, as I said, the air plankton, and, and also for flapping as well. But this uh, hairy fringe is uh, represented in different genera, in different species of a fairy fly, so a mimoride. So this is the sessile, no, the sessile, petiolate, petiolate wing. This is a disc of wing and also fringe, very hairy. The disc of also can be hairy, can be hairy, or sometimes with a very strong hairs really with very strong hairs. But nevertheless, so sometimes wings can be very wide, sometimes narrow like this, so narrow like this, but with very long hairs. And we, you can suggest that it's also quite helpful for flight of a mimorida fairy, fairy flies in the air. So they're parasitic, as I said, egg parasitoids, searching for them, for eggs of their host everywhere. They can be easily collected in most types of habitats, in Malayan traps, in American traps, or yellow pan traps, and also actually sweeping, also good collecting for these groups. But nevertheless, in, in majority of uh, collected material, these tiny groups of uh, parasitoids generally overlooked because they're very small. With these techniques, you can collect the smallest with the size about. 0 0.2 millimeter. Yeah, I also am very pleased to use this article, this paper, or about new genus of a fairy fly, Tinkerbella. 
and the genus Kikiki, which are uh, described by John Huber and Joy Noyes, as was published just recently. And here there is an indication about the size of the smallest MIMO reader was, because here this is indication that they described with one species, new species for science, Kikiki Hunna, with a size of just only 158 micrometer. This is 0 0.15, 0 0.15, 0 0.158. Millimeter, very tiny, very tiny. But not this is not the smallest, because another one, for instance, uh, the my uh, reader was Alaptus boringuensis, described by Dozer, has a size of just 186 micrometers, 0 0.186. But the smallest, uh, this is a male. I, I have here the picture as well. To show it, I just prepared. This is a male of a Dicopomorpha ecmepterigis, ecmepterigis, described by Mockfor. And this is a male. This is a very funny male. And actually, you can recognize here on the on this picture here. The, this is a head with a very wide antenna. And here is just the body of a male. And a male has a special aruliums on tarsi. Aruliums like use, you can be used for sac for attachment, for attachment to the female, we can suggest so. And the size of a dicopomorpha of this male just 0 0.139. So 139 micrometers. Very tiny, the smallest insect ever recognized. So they have a very greatly modified body because of loss of its size and actually windless, windless. And this is a second feature or it's a very special feature for other species. The Maimarida, this is a tiny size and also sometimes males or females, they can be windless. And this is a genus Kiki Ki Kuna, very tiny, just a funny, funny name of this genus. Just maybe for pleasure, authors gave so a special name, Kiki Ki Kuna, which was described from a Hawaiian island, islands Costa Rica and Trinidad. So, and I can show you. It's another picture. Who is this here? Tinkerbella, Tinkerbella nana. This is a scanning micro photographs. So you can see hairy wings, long antenna. And you can see head with a special position of a thoroughly, thoroughly, yes. And long antenna just with a clover. So tiny hairy flies of Maimaridae can be easily recognized in your sample. So if you have them, just select them from your samples, put in a separate jars, in small appendages or plastic or glass jars for following scientific study. And if you can find also some mime, not only Maimaridae but small egg parasitoids, Trichoharamatidae, select them for me because I'm studying Trichoharamatidae egg parasitoids and I will be very pleased to study them. So put your collecting yellow pen thread somewhere in your orchard. If you're living somewhere in Brazil, if you're living somewhere on very far away located area in a region where you can be recognized and a very famous zoologist because you can be really a motor zoologist a motor entomologist and you can collect a really unique absolutely unique material for scientific study you can collect it save it in alcohol and 
please you can send it for the study for me or I can present it for some of my colleagues. We can select among all these tiny small insects special groups of calcid wasps because our department in Institute of Zoology of National Academy of Sciences in Kiev, Ukraine was studying separate several groups of a calcid wasps they are very small it's difficult to collect them so if you collect them we can study them we can describe them as a new species for science and this is the most interesting object in the scientific uh, job describe it and you can publish it with a special scientific name which can be given them in your order in your in your honor just or in honor of your friends parents or just as you like or with some indication as you like so far so good don't forget to contact with a specialist i give you just my email down under this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel on youtube press on bell and write your comments i'm always pleased to communicate with my followers or with subscribers and looking forward to see you on my channel because this is a first story about my Maria of fairy flies. Next stories will be devoted to other families of a calcid wasps, parasitic and phytophagos, just to show you a biodiversity of different hymenopterous insects which can be collected everywhere, just in tropics, in semi-tropical areas, in a nearly de near desert, desert, or just somewhere near on mountains. So near a river, near streams, or even in streams, if you are very careful and delicate. You can collect this material, keep it in jars, and send it to us for the study. And we will collaborate, we can make international collaboration with you, publish scientific papers in the scientific journals, uh, Scopus journals, and uh, well-recognized journals in scientific area. Thank you for watching. First like, write your comments and ask your question. Good luck and see you soon. I'm Viktor Furso, research entomologist of Institute of Zoology of National Academy of Sciences in Kyiv, Ukraine. Good luck and see you soon on my channel. Bye bye.